<laughs> this is Julia Whittup with Talk Story TV, and I have with me this morning Carmen Wild, and she is the author of Healing the Planet from Within. And that sounds very nice. Would you tell us more <laughs> about your book, Carmen? Yeah, I'm really excited to share my book. This is the, the front cover of Healing the Planet from Within. Um, my mission is... Um, my mission in life is to inspire and motivate everyone on the planet um, to live a life they love because that's what I know it feels really good inside when you're um, living a really exciting and joyful life. So that's my mission. And this is, um, of course, my book, Healing the Planet from Within, um, is based on counseling and life coaching theories that um, really uplifts you and encourages you um, to make the change that really heal you. Um, I also have written a workbook, and this is a work book that you can actually write in your answers. We're looking at life coaching and counseling strategies to, to heal your life. So yeah, that's, that's it in a nutshell, Julia. Thank you. <laughs> okay. And tell us how you happen to decide to write a book. How, how did I say, well, it's, it's been all my life I've been feeling these, um, feeling like I, I want to change the world. I, I know I see a lot of people in the world that are very stuck and frustrated and miserable. And I think inside myself, I think, oh, how easy would it be to change that? We're looking at changing from a, a very negative, low, depressing thought form. You just go, oh, why me? Poor me. I'm feeling stuck and frustrated. And how easy it is just to flip that over and say, oh, life is good. I'm feeling really happy and satisfied in life right now. And how much more passionate and excited can you live every day and I believe that can you imagine this Julia imagine what would happen now if everybody on the planet were happy and satisfied wouldn't you, that be nice oh, that would be fantastic that would really <laughs> generate a lot of energy on the planet a lot of positive energy and I think that's where we can take it to yeah and so that's what your thoughts are is people need to just decide to be happy or well, I don't think there's any need to or should to's or have to's. They really don't exist. It's always a choice. It's always uh -huh. a choice. Um, and of course, you know, for me, I, I know what it feels like to get down and miserable. I've had bad times. I think everybody has. And, and, and I know the difference between a bad time and a good time. And for me, it's a choice. I like to feel happy. I don't know about you. <laughs> and what about the audience? So what do they prefer, the, the sad or the happy? I don't know. <laughs> I think we kind of prefer the happy. <laughs> <laughs> Most people do, and it's easy to generate it. In fact, um, at the University of Oxford, um, there's a gentleman that actually researched what it would take to generate endorphins. And would you believe he, he researched um, 20 minutes of laughter generates endorphins, which is the feel-good chemicals in your brain. And you can generate that at any point in time. You can be happy at any point in time in your life. And you don't need... You don't need a reason to laugh. You can just laugh. <laughs> <laughs> and just that in itself makes you happy. So it's really easy to live a happy life. But now I, I do understand people watching this would probably be thinking, well, what about the bad times? What about the down times? It's so easy to say, let's be happy. But what about when someone passes away or tragedy happens in the world? And you think, yeah, there are down times. And that's natural. Obviously, we are humans, and we have a range of emotions from happy to sad to angry to rage. But generally, overall, um, you know, you could prefer to dwell in sad emotions and really dwell in the past, and or, or you could be worried and anxiety about about the future. When you're looking at past or the future. Um, those are the only times you can generate bad emotion. You can, you, well, you can generate it in the moment, yes. But you're looking at, if you're really in the present moment, that's the time when you're creating your life. That's, this is the only time. You can't change the past. You can't change the future. So, um, yeah, so that's looking at generating positive emotions in the now. And if someone does pass away, um, definitely, yeah, there, there's, there, there are bad times, but Generally, overall, what do you prefer? Yeah. Okay. And yeah. What now? Again, what inspired you to write this book? Um. Well, when I was a young girl, I re I remember. Um. I don't know how old I was. Maybe ten or eleven or twelve or something. I, I became very sad because people were mistreating each other, and it didn't make any sense to me because we are um, one 
a human race. We are one family. And, um, you know, parents would mistreat and abuse their, their children or, or each other. And then there's the different conflicts between races and religions. And, and it didn't make any sense to me. Um, people can choose to be in conflict and people can choose to be in peace. And I think it's time now on the planet for everyone to say, yes, let's choose peace. Because we've had enough of the conflict. We've had enough We've had enough. We've been there, done that. We've been through so many um, some bad times and wars and conflicts. It's time now to choose peace. And that's what I'm encouraging people in my book to say, yes, it's time to heal the planet. And the first place I believe you heal the planet is from within. You're looking at yourself and to generate the positive energies, to treat people kindly. Um, yeah, to put that. Um, Start with yeah. yourself. Start with yourself. Always look in your own backyard. Yep. Yeah. And did you, um, who published your book? Did you self-publish? I self-published through um, CreateSpace, which is a division of Amazon. So mm -hmm. um, both of them are self-published and, and available for sale on Amazon. And, of course, through my website, healingtheplanetfromwithin.com. Okay, great. Yep. <laughs> well, it, and how is it doing? Is the book doing well? How long have this, has it been out? Well, it's been out um, a couple years now, I think, yes. Um, and it's definitely, it's definitely building. I'm having so much fun connecting with all the people through my book. And, of course, with my life coaching. I do life coaching and personal development coaching online as well. So that generates um, a lot of interest in the book. Um, and that's, that's great fun. I do that through my website, which is CarmenWild.com with, with a Y. So, um, okay. yeah, so it, it's rolling along nicely. And, and I tell you, some people are really inspired by this concept that you can change your life. Everyone's looking at personal development now. It's, it's a huge market in the world. Um, there's personal development coaches. There's, of course, there's counseling. So everyone wants to improve their life. But do they realize that in doing so, they're helping uplift the planet and the energies of the planet? <laughs> more motivation live a wonderful life definitely encourage you to live a wonderful life live a life you love <laughs> and how long have you been doing this Carmen um I've been focused on this mission for a while now, but you know, as you travel in life, your story changes slightly and it becomes more fine tuned. Well, this is the moment um, when I'm actually really putting it out there big time in the world. Um, I mean, I'm a Reiki teacher, um, laughter yoga leader, and, um, <laughs> And, and definitely have run meditation courses and stuff. I've also taught at university. I have five different degrees. So I've taught at university as well. And now it's really time for me to focus just solely on this one project, um, which is, again, my mission in life for everyone to live a happy life. So, <laughs> Tell us more about laughter yoga. Laughter yoga. <laughs> you can say I'm laughing a lot. <laughs> um, I became a laughter yoga leader to... Uh, about a year and a half ago, and I have so much fun with it because before I became a laughter yoga leader, this is a weekend workshop, and laughter yoga originated in India. And um, it started off with a group of people getting together and realizing that it's um, – laughter heals the body, you know, generating happiness within the body generates and, um, and it reduces your stress levels and, and gives you an overall satisfaction in life. And, and I, and, and, and used to when I first started researching laughter, I know my, my father passed away from heart problems and I knew he was very stressed in his life. So I started researching stress and its impact on myself. Um, and that's where I went, oh, laughter. So I actually, um, recorded some laughter and, and, and made a laughter CD for myself. And there's a really great one that makes me laugh every time. The baby laughter. I don't know if you've heard the baby laughter, Julia. It is no. so funny. And you end up rolling on the ground laughing because it just is this contagious giggle. Uh -huh. It makes you laugh. And then I found out that there was such a thing as laughter yoga. So I thought I'd, be, I'd better go and, and train in laughter yoga. And what it is, it's, it, you, you think people normally imagine yoga as you're twisting yourself in, in knots and right. then laughing. Well, it's, <laughs> we don't do that, but we do generate laughter. Um, and it's just, it, and you don't need a reason to laugh. And in laughter yoga, we encourage people to laugh in the shower or to laugh while you're washing dishes or, or to simply to laugh while you're doing a talk story. TV show. <laughs> <laughs> 
just to laugh because it does uplift you. And I can guarantee that laughter throughout the day changes your relationships in your family, your friends and everything, getting together and having a good laugh. Um, it, it makes for a really great Christmas. <laughs> It does sound like a good idea. I was surprised when I read, though, that you could be laughing at nothing at all, and it would still make you feel better. It still makes you, because it still does the same thing to your body. In fact, I know sometimes when I get down, and of course I have these down energies, and you just go, oh, I'm feeling really depressed and sad about, you know, not doing this right or not doing that right. The old patterns from family, childhood, or, or past experiences. And But I know how to generate the happy ones. So when I go down in that space, I go, what am I down for? Oh, I don't like this feeling much. And I sort of think, no, I can do better than this. And then I flip it over. And you know what I do? I look at myself in the mirror and go, <laughs> and a really big smile. <laughs> and that makes you start laughing. Well, you think about it. Um, you know, you go outside. Like I was down one time and I went to the post office and the post office clerk and he smiled at me. He says, I wish you a really wonderful day. And the rest of my day was bright and brilliant. And I thought I could smile at myself and wish myself the same thing. It doesn't yeah. have to come one else. So, <laughs> very quickly interview, I think. <laughs> Too bad uh, most of the postmen don't do that. <laughs> yeah, well, we have very happy people here. We're, I'm in Queensland, Australia, and where this, the weather is very sunny and warm most of the time. I think we're very happy. <laughs> You're no, but I, I, have to, I have to be honest, though. I'm a very optimistic person, and I usually see the world in very light, uh, very lightly. So there are miserable people here, too, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> but you don't know any of them because <laughs> you cheer them up. <laughs> yeah, you know, I do smile at them. That's true. Sometimes I just pop in front of them and go, ah! <laughs> smile at someone. It's good fun. Yeah, it's definitely. Um, but the books are are really not so much about just laughing, and that comes from laughter yoga. But they're really about getting into your thought patterns and your beliefs and attitudes and and how to change that. And my passion is cognitive therapy, which is really looking at patterns in your mind and 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 how they're making you stuck in a certain pattern of of um, I'm not good enough or, you, you know, I mean, I doubted myself whether I should go and do a degree, for instance, because you sort of have those patterns of you're not intelligent enough or you can't do it. Um, so I just had to change that thought pattern and those beliefs to be able to get to university. And now I've done five degrees. So obviously I could do it quite successfully. But um, it is about changing. If you want um, to reach a particular goal in your life and you say, no, look, okay, this life is great. This is what I was taught from my parents but I'm not fully satisfied and there are parts of it I'd like to change and that's where we look at the beliefs and thoughts and attitudes that keep you stuck in that old pattern and we make changes to them it's just like flicking on a light bulb or a light switch and you just make changes to them um, and then that starts off a pattern um, a different pattern throughout your life. You change your thoughts from, from one particular aspect, no, I can't, to yes, I can. It changes your feelings. It changes your actions. And you generate a new energy in your life, a new way of thinking, a new way of doing, and you can change the old pattern. So if anyone out there watching this um, interview right now is having those negative patterns and you're unhappy or unsatisfied, feeling stuck or frustrated in your life in some way, um, it's just a matter of looking at the old pattern, deciding what you want, and changing your thoughts. And, and to match um, the new patterns and, and your goals. So you just align everything, your thoughts, feelings, and beliefs towards this goal you want, and you, you're obviously very successful. So it's just learning the personal development techniques, which is something I do talk about on my website. Um, yeah, CarmenWild.com is the one that's most active at the moment. So we do talk about personal development and how that changes. It's, it's definitely in my books as well. So Healing the Planet from Within, a lot of the same things we're talking about now. And, of course, then the workbook is actually taking you through all the different activities that I have in my coaching and you can do this yourself rather than work with a coach. Um, of course, a coach is really beneficial to take you through the different patterns. Um, and a coach actually sees the things that you're not willing to see yet. <laughs> <laughs> that would probably be the point for that. Very. And so they can find you at either healingtheplanetfromwithin.com or carmenwild.com? Yes, I also have a blog, personaldevelopmentinsights.com. And, um, of course, I've got my Facebook pages. I've got Carmen Wild Coaching, 
Heal the Planet from Within and um, Personal Development Insights as, as Facebook group. So please come and join me on that. Um, let me know what you need. If, if, if you need anything that helps, that, that will really help you change your life, let me know. Say, look, I'm Carmen. I'm stuck with this thought. What would you recommend? Post it on my blog, on my Facebook pages, even Twitter me, Twitter me, Carmen Wild, and that's with a Y. Send me a Twitter message and let me know what, what do you need in your life? How can I help you live a life you love? Okay, Carmen Wild, W Y L D. Yes, indeed. Thanks, Julia. Okay, thank you so much for being with us today. Uh, thank you. It's been my pleasure. You offer such wonderful services to help people um, yeah, get out there and let people know what they're all about. I really appreciate what you're doing, Julia. It's fantastic. Thank you. <laughs>